Hey there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Module. Okay, in this lesson, if you have done the group work, then you would post your question up here. So I would hope that if you haven't done it, you are going to do it, pause the video and do it now. Or if you decide not to do it in class, this is for myself. That was going to be in place. Um, if you decide not to do it, then I'll just move on. Okay, so we were given five different questions, and we had to um, figure out five different questions. They had an area to write their question number, write the division expression, write it as a multiplication expression, and make a rough draft of a model to represent that problem. Okay. So here's what the results would be if we had done that. Okay, so number one says, how many one-half miles are there in 12 miles? How many one-half miles are in 12 miles? So you take the 12 miles, and you want to divide it by how many half miles there are. In math, when we divide by a fraction, we flip it and switch it. So our problem now is going to go from 12 divided by a half to 12 times the reciprocal of one half or 2 over 1 or simply 2. And then it says write an equation showing the equa equivalence of the two expressions. So I'd say 12 divided by 1 half equals 12 times 2. Okay. You're in group two, you should have how many quarter hours are in five hours? You take five divided by one quarter. Five divided by one quarter. Take our rule, switch the sign, and flip the fraction. One fourth is now four over one, or simply four. So I would say 5 divided by a quarter equals 5 times 4. Group 3, how many one-third cups are in 9 cups? We're going to take 9 divided by 1 third, and then if we convert that to multiplication, it's 9 times the reciprocal of a third, which is 3 over 1. And so therefore we would say 9 divided by a third is equal to 9 times 3. How many eighth pizzas are in four pizzas? Four divided by one eighth. James, flip it and switch it. Four times eight, and four divided by one eighth equals four times eight. I forgot to change color that time. How many one fifths are in seven holes? So you have seven divided by a fifth which is the same as 7, flip it and switch it, times 5. So 7 divided by 1 fifth equals 7 times 5. Okay? Example 2. Molly has 9 cups of flour. If this is 3 quarters of the number she needs to make bread, how many cups does she need? Okay. Get it? Make bread? Need? Oh, that was bad. Okay, so here it says, construct a tape diagram by reading it backward. Draw a tape diagram and label it unknown. Okay, well, a tape diagram backwards. So we have this tape diagram. One big piece of tape. And this whole piece says label it unknown. There. That's what they mean. Label it unknown. It says next shade in three quarters. Okay. So I'm going to copy it down here. So here's my tape diagram again. Forgive me. I can't draw very straight with this. And now we're going to split it into quarters. So the easiest way to do that is to cut it in half and then cut each half in half. Okay, so there's four quarters. It says shade in three quarters. So I'll shade this. There's one quarter. Shade this two quarters. 
update this three quarters. Okay, so there's three quarters shaded. Okay, now it says label the shaded. So let me see this one. Okay, I was trying to figure out how to copy that, but I don't think I can. So I'm just going to do it one more time. So here is my tape diagram repeated. There's a half, there's a quarter, another quarter, and this is shaded, and this is shaded, and this is shaded, so it's just a duplicate of this up here. And it says to label the shaded region. So I'm going to call this nine. Label the shaded region to show nine is equal to three quarters. Nine equals three quarters. Nine cups of flour is three quarters of the total. Analyze the model to determine the quotient. Okay, so once we've done that, we still don't know the whole piece. And so now if I know that three are nine, I can say, oh, well, nine uh, divided by three equals three. So this is worth three, that's worth three, that's worth three. And therefore, that would also be three because the tape diagrams are all equal. Okay. So we have four units that are all three. So now we can say four squares times three equals a total of 12. Okay. So she had nine cups of flour, but she needs 12 cups. Uh, exit exercise one through five. The construction company is setting up signs on two miles of road. If the company places a sign every quarter mile, how many signs will it use? So if I do a tape diagram, and this is actually an aerial view of our road, okay, there's our road, and it's that whole distance is two miles. And we're going to split this up into a quarter of a mile pieces. So we need to know how many quarters are in two. So it's two, and we're going to divide it into quarter, quarter mile pieces. Well, that's the same as two times four, which equals eight. So I need eight pieces. So I'm going to cut this in half. I have two. Cut the half in half. I have four. Cut each four in half and we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal pieces. They're all one order model. Okay. So if they place a sign every quarter mile, how many signs do they use? Well, if they place a sign one quarter mile, there's a, so my red could be signs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a sign at the end, or at the beginning and now. So there are eight fourths and two, so the company will use eight signs. Number two, George bought four submarine sandwiches for a birthday party. If each person will eat two-thirds of a sandwich, how many people can George feed? So we have four sandwiches, and each person can eat two-thirds. What does that mean? Okay, we can't just say four divided by two-thirds. So let's do a tape diagram, and we're going to... have four submarine sandwiches in our tape diagram. So I'm going to split this here and split it there and split it here. So there's our four submarine sandwiches lined up, if you will, all in a row on a plate. And we want two-thirds. Two-thirds is going to be eaten by each person. 
So there's three thirds from one sub. So that's one person right here. One person ate two thirds. So if I break these into thirds, I'll use green for my one third markers. These are there's four sandwiches, and there's one, two, three pieces there, one, two, three pieces here, three here, and three here. Each person eats two. So there's one person. There's two people. There's three. There's four. There's five. Finally, six. Okay, so we can simply just say four divided by two thirds per person equals four times so four over one. Flip this, three over two. Four times three is 12. One times two is two. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Okay. 3. Miranda buys 6 pounds of nuts. If she puts 3 quarter pounds in each bag, how many bags? So, let's do the math first. 6 divided by 3 quarters is equivalent to 6 times 4 thirds. Put that over 1 equals 6 times 4 is 24, 1 times 3 is 3, 24 divided by 3 is 8, and so it should be 8 bags. I could do a model just like this again. Okay, so that would look like a tape diagram, just like we did before. And now we want six pounds of nuts, so cut that in half. Each one is three, so i got to cut each one into thirds now. So if I do this as close as possible to the equivalent, then we have six. Each one's considered a pound, and each person uses three quarters of a pound. So I'm going to cut these into quarters. So one, two, three, four, quartering this. Okay, and then finally answer the question. So there's three quarters. There's three quarters. One, two, three. 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 Eight groups of three. So the answer is eight bags. Okay, question four. Margot freezes eight cups of strawberries. If this is two-thirds of the total strawberries that she picked, how many cups of strawberries did she pick? So, eight cups of strawberries. And if this is two-thirds of the total, how many cups of strawberries did she pick? Eight equals two-thirds of the total. So we need to do a proportion, just one moment. Okay, sorry for the distraction there. So then we would divide by two thirds, and consider that eight over one. And then what we can do is say eight over one times reciprocal, three over two, and eight times three is 24. One times two is two, and 24 divided by two is 12. So cups was the total, and eight cups is two thirds of twelve. If I wanted to do that as a tape diagram, look like this, and if we separated these, four, four, that's eight, because that's two thirds. That's what we were given. 
So there's thirds, and that's two of them. The total is supposed to be eight. So that's one third, two thirds, three thirds, or one. So if they're all four, four times three is twelve. Okay, the next problem says Regina is chopping up wood. She has chopped 10 logs so far. If the 10 logs represents 5 eighths of all the logs that need to be chopped, how many logs need to be chopped? I will do it mathematically first. So that's 10 divided by 5 eighths, which equals 10 times 8 fifths. And I'll put 10 over 1. And 5 will go into 5 once, 5 will go into 10 twice, 2 times 8 is 16 logs. That's my answer. Okay, in order to do this with a tape diagram, it would look like this. And 5 eighths represents. 10 logs. So if I split this into 8, there's 2, there's 4, I cut these in half, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 squares. They're all worth 2 each. There's 5 eighths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 eighths is 10. This represents my 10, which is 5 eighths. Okay, 10 logs is 5 eighths. And so there's 3 eighths remaining. 2, 4, 6. So the total is 16. 8 squares of 2. Okay. And that's the end of lesson 2. Hopefully this was helpful. Now go do your problem set.